Hello, my name is King Silverback. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is an incredibly beautiful day, and today I'm going to be doing a two-year review, approximately two-year review, of a recliner chair that I got um, on December 26th of 2017. So it's been almost two years, not quite two years yet, but it's, you know, getting to be there. And this is basically, is this chair good enough to last two years of everyday use and uh, all the areas that you know you'll see in this video of the chair are all things that are issues because of long time use um, and they really shouldn't be an issue because these are you know spots that should be tough enough to not you know be destroyed and I'll be 100% honest I'm extremely careful and attentive you know all whatever you want to call it um, I'm very good with the things that I have like I don't have many broken things like I don't I'm trying to think of a broken phone that I've had the last broken phone that I had was like four or five years ago and I've had two or three phones since then um, or no two phones since then they're both completely fine so I don't really break things and uh, yeah that's not something I do so when you see this you're gonna be probably uh, shocked by the quality of what it looks like um, and also confused as to why I haven't thrown it away yet but I'll explain all that so this is what it originally looked like when I got it um, but the weirdest okay so they must have changed what they were selling but it's under the same link uh, but this happens quite often on Amazon if you tr try to go back to buy something that you bought a while ago Oftentimes, either they'll have nothing there, and other times, it'll be completely different products. That's happened a lot with products that I ordered, but they never, you know, delivered it to me. So oftentimes, when I would go back, it would pretty much be a completely different thing. Uh, that was a long, that was like a couple years ago, they would do that, which was messed up, but... Um, I think I got refunded for it because I was trying to get a machete at one point because I thought machetes were cool so I wanted to get a machete. Long story short, I go back because I ordered it but then I go back and I learned that it's actually, uh, it's now kitchen knives is what they're selling. Um, and yeah, no idea but that's the way that was. So uh, this is to say that what you're about to see is extremely weird extremely weird so I'm just gonna show what the chair that I bought looks like versus the chair that they're now selling under the link that I used this is gonna be weird uh, that's all I'm gonna say it's gonna be very weird right here is the this is gonna be crazy okay this is the chair that I got this right here is the exact chair that I got looks exactly the same as the chair that I got you know all that kind of stuff this is what is under the link now. Brace yourself. How can you sell something that looks like that when you were originally selling something that looks like this? They're very different chairs, but not really. The only difference is right here. The uh, head cushion thing. And this is uh, like advertised as a gaming chair and these little flares right here. Uh, which would be extremely uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so before I show it, I do want to say um, that originally when I got this, this chair was extremely comfortable. Um, it was The interesting thing was is that my mom actually got a similar chair. Uh, and this chair uh, right here is from, it's called Homo. I'll put it up on the screen right right there uh, it's called homo single recliner chair padded seat pu leather which is vegan leather um living room sofa recliner modern recliner set or seat club chair home theater seating whatever so this one is apparently 116 dollars i think this is probably the one that my mom got uh for my dad um because he still has his but his is you know in my opinion was never as comfortable as mine was um even though mine is like pretty messed up uh mine's still more comfortable sadly but you know that's the way it is sometimes uh so 
yeah, that's basically what I was saying. This this was an extremely comfortable chair um, originally, but uh, after two years of daily daily use, I'm just going to show uh, what it looks like now. Okay, so here is the chair. Uh, I use it in my room, um, and again, I've pretty much used this chair every day for two years, and uh, this is how it's holding up. Uh, and you'll see it's not holding up by threads anymore. So uh, here's what the chair looks like. And yes, I know I should probably get another chair. Uh, but then again, you got to look around my room. You know, I'm, I'm a very clean individual. I don't, I don't keep a, this is on my, on my chair. Cause I usually sleep naked, but my sister has a friend over and I'm not going to be, you know, walking around naked, not naked. I wear underwear. And then this is my stuffed animal corner. Uh, shout out to KK and baby J. I wish I could fit that t-shirt. I probably can now all my clothes, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm a clean individual. It's the only raggedy thing that I have. Literally, the only raggedy thing that I have. And as you can see, it is pretty messed up. So, um, the top half is completely fine. This, you know, it's still extremely comfortable. That's probably the main reason why I still sit in it. Um, but other than that, pretty much everything else is kind of, you know, poopy. Um, so right here, uh, you can kind of see the outline of a spring. These are all springs. These springs have come up, and as you can see right here, there's a little bit of a dive. You can kind of see this is it leveled. Uh, as you can see that there's, I mean, this is just ridiculous. So this right here is padding. This is springs. I'm assuming the padding uh, was all pushed to this side. And there's, because there's very little, there's some padding over here, but these springs were held down by the padding, I'm assuming. Um, and then, as you can see right here, the, um, this part, uh, this completely ripped, ripped from that. Um, and I keep having to put this cushion back in. Uh, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to get a new chair, uh, but... I need to get a new, I'm saying like, I don't know how soon I'll get a new chair, but I definitely need to. Um, and then like right here, like that's just, you know, you're using it every single day. So that's, you know, the way that is. Uh, but as you can see, yeah. That's, that's an issue that I have with it. That's really all for this review. Um, all I can say is that this is not a chair to get for daily use. If you're going to be watching movies every once in a while, get this chair, but I don't recommend getting it if you're gonna be using it every single day because this is what's gonna happen. And I've been, I've had this chair for two years, but, or almost two years. It's been broken a lot, or probably half the time, I'd say. It's probably broke after a year, I'd say. No, probably a little bit less than a year, maybe. Um, but it's been broken for quite a while, so um, it, you know. It's, it was a good chair. Uh, my dad's chair still intact, still working, but he barely ever sits in it. Like he probably sits in it. I don't really see him sit in, in it often. Probably two times a week at most, maybe, or maybe a little bit more than that, depending on, I, it just, it, it depends, but like he's very rarely in it. Um, and another issue could be that I tend to wear shoes when I'm, uh, in the chair as well, so that could ruin that part. But uh, there's so many other issues with the chair that you know, just the um, the bottom part being being the way that it is, like it, you know, that can't be just like yeah. So that that's why I'm saying that because the springs being out of whack, the the sides like um, just normal wear and tear, like but the springs being up, like the springs make my legs go to sleep because they're, you know, pushing pressure points that like cut off circulation. It's not good, it's not good. I also have to go check my food because it's been cooking for about 40 minutes. So uh, that's not good at all. Moral of the story is uh, this is really not meant for daily use, especially if you're, you know, gonna be wearing shoes in it. Uh, it's definitely not gonna last very long aesthetics wise, but uh, overall it, you know, the spring's coming up, that's kind of an issue that I think is pretty important. In the description of this video, there's gonna be a link to where the new like version of this is or where you can like get a name brand version of it, you could say, um, because the one, as I showed, that's not, 
what this is at all. It's very weird, but um, but yeah, so that's how that is. And uh, yeah, I can't say that I recommend this if you're gonna be using it every single day, but if you use it every once in a while again, you're good. So that's really all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. My name is King Silverback, and it's actually cheaper if you get it from the Homo place if you do wanna get it, because it is a decent chair. It's just not gonna last you a very long time if you're gonna be using it every day. And yeah, that's really all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. My name is King Silverback. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later. Don't say